Uh, people know me as Mark Paper Scissor. I make artwork out of paper and use scissors. And my name is Mark. A lot of the work is straight thought to cut. There's no drawing, there's no pre-planning. It's, uh, it's just how I'm feeling and, and, and basically I'm drawing with the scissors. You know, paper will just be all around me and I can kind of pick and choose around me what the colors are. It's kind of madness, it's kind of chaos. And um, I think that kind of leads to what comes out of it in the end, that, the, that kind of my, my workspace is, is chaos and what I'm doing is picking from the chaos of shapes and colors putting them in a composition that, that I like, that makes me happy, that I'm hoping will draw some type of emotion or feeling out of whoever's looking at it. So the tools I use are simply a scissor, paper, and a glue stick. Um, sometimes I'll use a Sharpie, and I try to keep my tools as simple as possible. I cut a lot of paper, <laughs> I cut a lot, a lot of paper, and you know, thousands and thousands of, of different shapes the scraps and the leftovers that I don't use, um, I save all of them and I've saved them for the past eight years. I'm still happy with what I've learned by, by sticking with one thing and not straying from it. I think that's taught me a lot. It helped me to sit and kind of contemplate meditatively to cut, cut paper. Um, and because it was such a, you had to put so much focus on what you were doing, everything kind of disappeared. And I can, I can channel my creative energy towards that one process. Every work is made up of simple shapes. They all start from simplicity and build upon that. That I think people really connect with and, and are genuinely drawn to something that's handmade because it's, it's special. It's, you can see the imperfections. And to some people might say, well, it's not perfect. Well, you know, to others, that imperfection is exactly what makes that thing special. I think that, in essence, it's all boiled down to the simplicity of cutting one shape, which leads to the next.